Good morning, Builder News. We are giving some new products a try from the Bay Area. It, we are here in San Francisco for Tech Week, and we're having an amazing, amazing time. We're meeting some great people who are building really cool things. It's really fun. Um, I lived here for six years. I left in 2014. And um, I think I missed a lot of uh, downswings in San Francisco, but boy, does it seem to be like a really fun, exciting place. Um, it's, you know, a little nerdy, but uh, always has been. Um, but lots of creativity all over the, all over the city. And um, it's fun. So anyway, we're going to give a try to um, Dino 2. So Ryan Dahl, if you don't know Ryan, um, I don't know if I've ever met the guy, but, but he created Node.js, which has really changed my life and just been an incredible thing. So when he says he's got something new to try, we give it a try. And now we have Builder News to share our tries live. So I am on some slow internet right now. Um, and so we are, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to, um, to do whatever this is. So Dino 2, now Dino is Dino a programming language or not? Mixed opinions on this. Let's see what we call it on PLDB. I probably would call it a programming language because it seems like it's 95% JavaScript, but just different enough. And type slash TypeScript. Wow, it's already ranked 86 on PLDB and it's only six years old. If you're not familiar, like that is pretty ridiculously fast um, to get to crack the top 100 in six years I mean we can let's take a look let's go to the Explorer so if it's six years old was that 2018 2017 let's take a look so this is running really slow so but guess what because PLDB is part of the worldwide scroll we can just use it offline so um, here we go here is oh god this is so much faster and beautiful Okay, so now we're gonna do, let's add a condition where appeared was greater than, um, let's see, what, seven years old? So 2018, 2017. Oh my goodness, look at that. Of all the projects, this, this guy, everything this guy touches turns to gold. <laughs> oh, so we call it a compiler in its primary category. <clears throat> Is that accurate? I don't know, maybe it's evolved. But look at this, of all the all the programming language, all the things that we cover <coughs> since um, 2017, <coughs> like how far back do we have to go before it's not? Okay, so if you go back to 2015, we've got a couple, Reason, Gleam, Reason, we got two. But I mean, just goes to show what an impact Node.js has had. And, and so you gotta imagine when Ryan picks a problem, he's choosing well. He's choosing well. So let's let's take a look at Dino 2. Announcing Dino 2. Have I used Dino 1? I don't remember. Probably. <laughs> He's got a commercial. <laughs> oh, 59 minutes. Okay, that's a that's a video, so we'll have to watch that later. Cold open. <laughs> Announcing Dino 2, the web is humanity's largest software platform. And building for it means potentially reaching over 5 billion people. But as web development has accelerated, it has become increasingly and unmanageably complex. Before writing a single line of code, developers must deal with iteration. <coughs> um, has remained the most popular language the past decade. Now, why why not link to PLDB? Because because it is indeed the number one language in the world here, according to PLDB. And that's pretty objective. That's that covers about four hundred inputs to build these rankings. One of the biggest ones is the foundation score. How many people are using this language to build their own languages? So um, <coughs> anyway, you know, it's, it's, it's not my, I'm not sitting there and being like, this one's number one, this one's number two. It's just, we just throw data in and we see what the data, what the data says and it says JavaScript's number one. So in an effort to simplify web, provo web programming, we could create a Dino all in one tool chain for JavaScript and TypeScript development. So native TypeScript support, okay, built on web standards, promises, fetches, modules, batteries included, secure by default. Hundreds of thousands of developers love using Dino. And the highest 
So it's written in Rust? Interesting. Do you know at scale? Includes backwards compatibility with Node.js and NPM. All right, native support for package, okay. Package management with Dino installed, Dino add, and Dino remove commands. Stabilize standard library support for private NPM registries. Workspaces, smart repo support, long-term support releases, nice. JSR modern registry. Oh, so it's an NPM competitor. So, so this is really just the direct node competitor. Now format HTML, CSS, and YAML. Do you know Lint? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's neat. Backwards compatible forward thinking. So, do you know it's fast? How do we, let's try it. Let's give it a try. Now we've read it. Normally I would just jump right into the try, but I was really, really curious. Install Dino. Here we go. Wait, let's just see if I have it already. No, I don't. Okay, great. Now, do I have to do sudo for this? I feel like I probably, so what are we doing? We're, we're fetching a shell script and we're piping it to shell now we're on slow internet so this is a great test if you're curious how Dino works on a m1 computer I'm running a MacBook Pro m1 I got this in December 2020 this thing is thank you Apple your products are so good all right so we're downloading we're downloading again very slow internet so um, now here's the thing that I'm surprised they don't have. They don't have a, um, if we go to Dino here, there's no like instant like try now, right? So most of these languages, most of these top languages will have a, like, you know, like Node.js, we can just click this and this is gonna take us to, okay, this is repo it replits I don't know how they pronounce it JavaScript obviously there's a million places where you can try JavaScript from your browser but really like you know see what does C take us to Java oh wait uh, why do we so I don't like linking to repo it because it does require okay here I love this one try it online so um, we try Perl 6 right here Echo, is that in Perl? I forget. No, but okay. Well, we <laughs> um, we we tried it. Oh, yeah. Okay, Perl uses print. So let's go back to Perl. Um, hello world. Great. So TIO, try it online. They don't have a Dino, and so that surprises me. Um, I feel like I want I want a way to try it without installing because sometimes I'm on a slow internet like this and then so we've, we've still got some more time to kill and while we wait for this try to, to happen and um well what else do we know about Dino let's go ahead and update our Dino inst our, our notes on Dino in PLDB Latest version is now 2.0. Look at that, 2.0, 2.0. Um, you know this Ryan guy created it. And what do we know about this Ryan fella? Created by Ryan. He's got a Wikipedia page. Now, what else do we, oh, he's got, well, obviously we can, so here we can add some more information on him. Let's go to creators.scroll file, let's look for Mr. Ryan Dahl. Okay, we know he's got a Twitter. 
He was born in 1980, so he's 44 years old, approximately. Um, let's put his Twitter in there. Um, and now what about, does he have a homepage? Moneyball homepage. What about, is he on GitHub or whatever, GitHub? Does he have some Gits somewhere publicly? It's like tinyclouds.org. All right. Homepage. Tinyclouds.org. And let's see if he's got a GitHub. Look at that. Two letters. Right. Let's give him a follow here. This this, this fella builds node, which we just love. This really improves our lives. All right, and now how are we doing there? Let's just run format on this. Where's this on this previous file? Scroll format. So that just reorders things nicely for us. Um, oh, and I forgot we were we were in the middle of of. Um, updating the ad page, but I'm gonna do that later. Let's push, push our updates to, to Ryan's info and to, to Dino. Um, while we wait, are we done yet? Oh, here we go, I think we're done yet. Dino was installed successfully. Edit shell configs to add Dino to the path. Yes, I do wanna do that. Dino was added to the path. You may need to restart your shell for it to become available. Set up completions. Bash not recommended on Mac OS. Sure. Yeah, okay. You may need to restart your shell. Um, okay. Well, let's just restart the shell. Why not? Dino. Rarely do things work on the first try. Oh, it worked on the first try. I love it. There's a repo. Oh, my goodness. This is fantastic already. I, cause <laughs> I love it. Does Node have a repo? Oh, it does. Oh my goodness, this whole time I, when I need a repo on the command line, I just do Python. Oh my goodness, I could do, I could be done. Dino, all right. Well, permissions allowed. Okay, okay, so now we've got Dino. What can we do with this? Um, what, what this, oops. Dino, scroll. Requires not defined. Oh, okay. So I have to switch to this new module syntax or something. Oh, uh, that's gonna be annoying. I, I, everyone's using that, so it's probably better. I just, I do some crazy advanced stuff with imports. Um, and I don't, I just really don't wanna deal with that at the moment. I kinda wanna let someone else deal with that, that battle, cause I, cause, cause I mean, scroll to some crazy fucking shit to like generate compilers on the fly and it writes to disk and it has to do a lot of like, I mean, I'm talking just a few lines of code, but, but figuring those out was really a pain in the ass many years ago. I mean, there's probably a smarter way to do it now, but like we had to do it with the, the language we had at the time. Anyway, so what can we do with Dino um, that doesn't require, where I can still use my require, or maybe I can't. Well, let's just try writing a script. Touch foo.dino s console.log123. Dino foo. Fuck yeah just worked okay simple enough now what can I do that's cool oh here we go console log okay let's do um, say hello equals person takes a person 
console log um, person.name. Hi, blah, blah, blah. All right. And then let's say hello to name Orion. Okay, and let's try that again. The module source code cannot be parsed. Expression expected. The module source code cannot be parsed. Expression expected. Okay, wait, what did I do wrong here? Person, uh, person name, say hello. Oh, do I do need to give it an age? Where's your 44? Interface person. So wait, what? Model language book and type script will ask. Um, I don't understand. Do I have to give it a TypeScript file extension? Or I'm just copying. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. I think Dino should be a language. Just call it Dino. Dot Dino. Hey, this was great. Very excited to see where this goes, obviously, because scroll is written. Parsers, particles, parsers, and scroll, the PPS stack needs to be bootstrapped in some language. And right now that's JavaScript. And TypeScript is um the scroll SDK. So this really could, we could really move to Dino potentially. Um, very excited to see this stuff and um, congrats on version 2.0. All right, cheers.